Royal Flying Doctor Service hit a cow. Royal Flying Doctor Service plane strikes cow while landing on the... Help me out, Doug. I mean, it's, it's Australia, so it's probably just pronounced in English. Nullagin in Pilbara. Nullagin Airstrip in Pilbara, mate. Lauren Price writes from Perth now a month ago. A medical plane has hit a cow while landing. Tragic incident unfolded when the Royal Flying Doctor Service came to a landing on an airstrip about 190 kilometers north of Newman. Uh, it struck the cow. Kill, kill, killed the cow? Man, it's a sad one we're ending on. Uh, <laughs> aircraft had a patient on board, but nobody was hurt. Except the cow. Well, <laughs> Come on. Uh, there has been damage to the aircraft. Oh, and then they're going to yeah. transfer the patient. Scroll down. Do we have any pictures? <laughs> There's a like picture the of an airplane and a picture of a cow. <laughs> <laughs> the safety of our people and patients is our top priority. You know, I mean, that PC cow 12. is. Is that PC-12? Yeah, looks like it. Yeah. Well, the cow that wasn't cow the looks color rapid. as the dirt. Look at exactly. the cow. I mean, it's, it's got blood around its mouth. and. Have you ever hit hit anything on landing? Have I ever hit anything on landing? animal there's a guy in my in my uh birds class. just birds yeah guy in my rag class hit a uh deer oh god in meridian on landing in a, yeah. in a t2 and of course his call sign was bambi and uh justice for the cows and like i asked him i was like man did you and he he said it literally it, it cut the deer in half and he he i I'm like, did you feel anything? He's like, dude, he's like, we thought we saw a little flash, like right at touchdown. And I didn't feel a thing. And we got out of the airplane. There was, you know, blood all over the, the landing gear. And they went out to the runway. And sure enough, there was a dead deer out there cut in half. So it happens, unfortunately. Uh, usually it's birds hanging out around runways, not cows. Oh, Doug's trolling me with the comments here. <laughs> Is well, you know, I, mean, I you know, I love telling stories about your call sign. What <laughs> mover? What does Gonky stand for? That's a trade secret, my friend. <laughs> so, I may know a little bit about this. Killing cows? Killing cows. <laughs> I may have killed a cow. Am I telling that story? Is that what we're doing? Is am, I, am I telling the story I've told a million times? Everybody wants to know the story all the time. Have you, you've heard this story a few yeah, times. It's Gonky. awesome. Let's see if I do you want me to tell it, Doug? Should I tell the story? Absolutely. When you get to I my think age, you should tell it. Hearing the same stories over again confirms your memory still working. Yes. Oh, I agree. Well, it depends on how much it changes between the first time I tell it and this time, right? We'll make it a little bit better. Let's go. I mean, uh, so spinning up for Iraq, Iraq. Right. Night close air support mission, Avon Park, live 20 mic mic. Well, training rounds. So we were shooting actual projectiles, but they weren't like high explosive incendiary, all that stuff. And so we check in with the joint terminal attack controller, the JTAC, and we're, they said, okay, you know, go to the convoy type three control. So type three control is kind of, you're on your own, right? Type one, type two, JTAC's got to see at least one of you, you know, type one, they got to see both type two, they got to see one of you. Type three is here's your target set. Let me know when you're done. And so we had a convoy. And our job was to go strafe nighttime on night vision goggles with the targeting pod and stuff. And we, we set up, I distinctly remember that next to the, the trucks. Now, remember prior to this, I'd been flying at Luke air force base with the oldest fleers in the, in the fleet. So everything looked like blobs on this thing. I was not used to high fidelity stuff. Well, I saw these little dots around the convoy and I thought, well, that's just like the old tactical bush there at Luke. Where, you know, as, the, as it cooled down at night, it retained some heat. And, you know, that's why you see the little blobs. I just thought it was like terrain features and stuff. Flight lead rolls in. He strays. I'm like, good hits one. Good hits one. I roll in and the, we strafe. And I, you know, as many rounds. I think we shot 200 rounds. Come back to the debrief. You know, feeling good about myself because I, you know, I hit the target. We had DVRs. Not tapes, but DVRs. So you could go put it on the computer and you could expand. You could enhance. Enhance. <laughs> from what you saw on your little screen under your NVGs, you know, on your eight bit monitor uh, above your, your knee to 4k or whatever, whatever the screen was. And those blobs were not blobs. They were cows. And when the rounds hit the cows, we watched in real time 
or slow-mo, depending on which time we watched it, the cows would disintegrate as the 20 mic mic hit them to the point that they were trying to get out of the way. The front half was still moving and the back half was just gone. Like it would, they would just explode. And it was about, you know, six to nine cows. It was, so of course the first thing my flight lead does, cause I'm just a dumb wingman. I'm just like, is this bad? He's like, <laughs> Oh, so he's like, takes the DVR, you know, writes some stuff on a piece of paper, takes the rubber band, you know, okay, we got to save these, you know, in case the farmer ever calls or whatever yeah. next day. Cause it's nighttime, right? Everybody's gone home. They call the range and they're like, Oh yeah. You know, farmer Dale, you know, his fence broke and the cows got on the range and nobody knew. So this poor man lost like half his cows. Oh dude. And, um, did, did they, did they get him new cows? No, I, I never heard what happened. I, oh, those tapes were still in there, and I wish I had had a way to declassify them and keep them. When I left that squadron, those DVRs were still <sighs> marked probably, in there. It's probably oh, it's on some hard drive. Yeah, it's probably on like the mission still planning there. computer over there. What but, not to do? Yeah. All right, everybody, here we go. Well, I mean, and the audio is really damning because I'm like, good hits, one, good hit. You know, we got the, you know, like, I'm fired up. I have no idea I'm hitting cows. I just think we're hitting the. The yeah. convoy, you know. Oh but, yeah, this anyway. is awesome. Yeah, this is great. I was born for this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so mover, uh, a a tactic, a moving object not associated with your tactical objective. So you got movers around the, in the vicinity. Sometimes they put umlauts mover, but that's where that came from. So yeah, I I may have killed a few cows.